Hey guys, welcome back to the shack. And as promised, a lot of you guys have been asking about Christmas stuff and what do we do for Christmas? Cause some of the things that I make for Christmas. And so I have my Christmas expert with me today. Uh, Brandy's back out here in the shop. She's been giving me some ideas for things to make. We've made a few new ornaments that will probably, some of them will probably end up on the Etsy shop. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through and show you the ones that I've already made. And I'm gonna let Brandy explain to you the ones that she's came up with or that she's developed. So if that's something you're into, stick around. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so uh, we got everything set. We've got, even though it's still 90 something degrees outside, we've got the scene set for Christmas here today. And a lot of these you may notice from some of my previous videos, these are the mini uh, ornaments that I've had over the past few years. And then Brandy came out in this week and has decided for me to make a few. And so I'm gonna kind of talk to you about them for a second, let Brandy explain hers, and then I'll let you see everything that's here on the table. But these, a lot of these are single piece and, and double piece cuts. Uh, I do have those files. Uh, on Etsy. I put those on there last year. Those are the ones that I sold at a lot of the events last fall. And uh, those are, you know, they're going to continue to be in my box. Uh, I just keep this random box of pre-made ornaments on my table and people can kind of dig through there and figure out what they want. And of course, I do display them on my little tree. And then I made me a new display tree here for this fall. But those are, like I said, those are pretty easy, the ready-made ones. But Brandy said that mine needed a little bit of an upgrade, and so she came up with a few designs of her own. I'm gonna let her tell you about those. So tell them about the new ones. Okay, <laughs> so the first ones was, um, well, I'll actually start with this one because this is my favorite. This is the, um, the Camera's sleigh. over there. <laughs> this is the sleigh um, you that have, I- You may have to walk a little closer for me to be able to see it. Okay. <laughs> so this is the sleigh that I wanted him to put together. I wanted something that was a little larger and three-dimensional. This one's already decorated. When it comes out, it just kind of looks a little plain. But um, you can decorate it. Um, this one I chose to go with Holly. So I like this. We had um, a sleigh ornament that was given to us 20-something um, years ago and um, by some friends that we had, and it's just one of my favorites. And I just kind of thought that recreating it would be a great idea. And you could use this as an ornament, you can use it as a shelf setter, um, or you can use it in the middle of your wreath, because sometimes I just take my favorite ornaments and put them in, my, in the middle of my wreath and just kind of showcase them there. So that's probably my favorite. Um, and it's a three-piece cut, guys. Uh, I, burnt this, I burned this one out of four and a half millimeter Luan and a little dab of glue, and then it snaps together. So it's, it's simply three little pieces. So it's not a, it's not a, a hard assembly, but... Uh, but it is very functional. I got the 3D effect that she was wanting. And then this one is a pair of skates and it is a pair. So, um, so there's two here and you can kind of hang it on the tree. And what I like about this one is it gives you some holes so you can actually lace it up. Um, just kind of adds a little special you're touch. Gonna to, you're gonna have to get on up there on the camera. <laughs> oh. So that just kind of adds a little special touch to it, but I thought that one was really neat. And um, so I wanted to, to do that one too. Uh, and then the last one is the mittens. And that's kind of the same thing. I wanted something in pairs. Um, and one of the things I like about this is it just kind of hangs over the branch. Um, so you don't have to have a, um, a hook. And so it just kind of adds to it. So the pair of mittens um, that we have, I like those. And this is the same kind of in a miniature. And I just kind of draped them over here to kind of show you what, you, what else you can do to them. And you know, you maybe you don't wanna hang them on the tree, but you can use these, you can tie these around your gift and, and that just kinda of helps with the wrapping if you wanted to do that. You could take this and put it over um, a little candle. If you had a candle that you wanted to kinda of add a little something extra to, you could do that. Um, so that's kinda of my favorites, I think. We gonna talk about the Christmas trees too. We were able to see and see. With the C and C, yes. And these, I'm thinking I'm probably going to use as a centerpiece. Um, we did three. Um, there's kind of all different. And I decorated them different. So this one, I kind of did the buffalo check. But he did this with the uh, CNC, made a little base for it. So what I'm thinking I might do is do a table runner and then uh, have these kind of sitting in the middle. 
So um, this is the one kind of buffalo check. I did this in a darker stain. Well, I guess that's the medium stain. This is kind of the darker stain. Um, and I just added some red and some berries. This came from just Dollar Tree. So um, you can get some decorations at Dollar Tree. It doesn't have to be elaborate, but it just kind of adds to that. Just a simple bow um, add to the top of that one. And then this one, I just kind of left it natural, put a sealer on it. And so um, I'll probably leave it like that. And just sitting together, it'll be um, just three pieces that kind of contrast each other. So. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go back. We'll, we'll go back, guys, and I'm going to take the camera and just kind of walk you through all of them. <laughs> Brandy's still got to get used to the showcase mode on the camera. We need to, I guess we need to train on that. Well, it would help if I had my glasses, too, because I, I can't really see. <laughs> so, but uh, we also made, and this is not a laser project, guys. Uh, this is a CNC project, but we made these little wooden, this is out of some scrap material, some scrap three-quarter material. Uh, I did these on the same smart. I did a bigger one, uh, also did a little small one, and those are three-quarter inch thick, just an easy little CNC burn, and I did one of the, the, the mittens, actually I did several of the mittens, but I did the mittens as well, the pine, it did okay, so I decided that I would try doing them on MDF, just to see what it, see how it turned out, and the MDF did okay, but it's really, really brittle on those uh, real thin parts right there. So that may uh, that may be my first and last try with MDF, which Brady said she likes them. She said they're okay, but you know, we've just been out here trying to come up with Christmas ideas and get something going. And also some of the older designs that I have, of course, if you go to my Etsy shop, there's a lot of different Christmas stuff on there, ornaments and, and designs, but these are, some, these are some simple designs that you can do, which are like stocking tags and you can put a piece of ribbon or you know string or whatever on those it's basically just a square with the corners cut off of it in a hole and then you engrave the name on there so lots of different little christmas ideas and as we get closer to christmas i'll try to show you some more of the stuff that we make uh we do a lot of like reef centers which i didn't bring any of them with me but i've got a few of them in a box over there because i got all my christmas stuff out but just letting you know guys that's what we got going on here and don't go away just yet. I'm going to do a quick little walkthrough with the camera so you can see everything up close without all of the, the background. All right, guys. So here's the sleigh. This is the one that Brandy has stained this one and decorated it. Uh, then you got the, the mittens. These are a few of my other ornaments that I made. Uh, you've got the set of skates, which are basically mirror images of each other. Uh, mittens on a tree. Then we got the other tree there. Uh, that's the unpainted sleigh that's just made out of Luan, one of my older uh, ornaments. And then of course I got a tree full of these guys. These guys right here have been with me for a while. That's, a, that's last year's uh, batch. And then of course I got my little box there. Uh, this is my little Christmas tree base. This is a miniature one that I made from my little miniature Christmas tree that goes with me to events oh we forgot the candy cane i did make the candy cane one and i also made uh the holly today so those were two more additions that it wasn't brandy's idea necessarily but she got me started so that's what it is all right guys so i hope this helps you out getting ready for christmas uh we got a lot of fall events coming up we've got the Chambers having the, what y'all call that thing, trick-or-treat the streets, mm -hmm. which I don't usually participate in. I just go to that. But then we've got the, go ahead, tell, what, all, what all events do we have coming up, the, the vendor There's events? There's a holiday open house that's going on. That's um, brick and mortar so that you can stop around. But there Maymay's going to be having that one. Yes. So we may be there. She hasn't said for sure. Yes. There's a fall city fest is happening. Uh, um, probably will be there. Yes, and then the, um, the Jolly Jamboree, which is the holiday kickoff, basically. Um, it's called the Holiday Jamboree. Mm. That one's in uh, this November, November the 4th. So probably be there. Yes, and... Um, oh, wait, we're, forget we're forgetting September the 9th. We actually will be at the yeah. event from Pedals from the Past. But we're not going to be doing sales up there, guys. We're just going to be doing the meet and greet with a few of the other channels from in our area. But then what? what's next? I'm sorry. After uh, the September... Um, the Fall Festival, Fall City Fest, uh, will be October the 
seventh, if that's the Saturday. So then it'll be the holiday kickoff will be next. Which, and then the holiday kickoff will be in November. Yeah, so we've got a couple of events coming up that I will be set up at, uh, but for the most part, uh, I just wanted to give you guys some ideas of designs that you can use. And guys, these, these designs really aren't that hard to, to, to come up with if you have a good working knowledge of light burn. However, if you don't want to spend the time or if you haven't quite got to that level with light burn yet, you haven't mastered the skills or at least got good enough to do what you want, then I do try to offer my files economically on my Etsy shop just to kind of give you some products that you can you can start making and you can you can play with those and and try to get your skills a little better to the point to where you can design your own files uh, but each one of these files i designed from scratch uh, i did the video if you hadn't seen that of the design for the sleigh it was kind of a fast forward through the process but it just goes to show you that with light burn once you learn it you can create all kinds of stuff so but until next time guys be safe and have a good day